Hi, I'm Mark Middlebrook. I'm here in the Paul Marcus Wines Cantina, and in this segment I'm going to talk about pairing Piemontese wines with food. Um, and I have uh, four wines to talk about that with. Um, I drink a lot of Rovero Arnese, this white wine from Piemonte. Um, there are others like Gavi that are equally equally good. but um, And I found this was a great aperitif. It goes well with all kinds of antipasti, first course type things. Particularly well with anchovies. There's a uh, Piemontese cuisine uses a lot of anchovy, and it's a pretty tricky uh, thing to pair with most wines. But, uh, but Arnese does the job quite handily. Um, it's also a wonderful uh, wine with all kinds of fish, including raw fish. I ate at a restaurant in Aurora once, and they served several courses of raw fish, and the Arnais combination with that was brilliant, so this would be a fun wine to, to uh, take to the sushi bar and see how it goes with those sorts of things. Um, now moving to the reds, we've got Barbera, Dolcetto, and Nebbiolo, the three most important uh, red grape varieties uh, in Piemonte. Barbera, uh, what distinguishes Barbera is high tangy acidity and very low tannin. So it makes your mouth water, stands up to tomatoes and anything that has a lot of acid in it, uh, but doesn't have a lot of uh, tannin, so it's relatively mild, easy to drink, and on the other hand, maybe not the best thing for big hearty meat where you like to have that tannin. So this is really the, the wine par excellence for all the stereotypical Italian foods, pizza, pasta, lasagna, anything with tomato sauce, but also great chicken wine, you know, whatever you're having on a weekday meal, uh, Barbera will, will do the trick and, and refresh your palate. Um, Dolcetto is another wonderful everyday wine from Piemonte and uh, what distinguishes it besides the flavor from uh, Barbera is that it's got moderate acidity but a little bit of tannin, a little bit of grip, a little bit of that bitey character. Not too much though, it's not, not really intensely tannic. But because of that tannin, which binds well with protein, I like to have it with foods that have a little bit of uh, protein in them. Cheese certainly, but also things like salami, um, uh, anything that, uh, that's you know, a little bit meaty, uh, Dolcetto makes a really fine accompaniment for. And finally, Nebbiolo, whether it's a uh, Nebbiolo d'Alba, such as this one, or a Barolo, or Barbaresco, or Roero, any of the, the great Nebbiolos. Um, Nebbiolo, unlike, uh, unlike uh, Barbera and Dolcetto, really has, has pretty pronounced tannins. They can be tamed a little bit in the winemaking process, but uh, the grape naturally lends a lot of tannin to the wine. Uh, so generally they're aged a little bit longer, and I often like to drink them with foods that can stand up to tannin, and that generally means meat. Um, uh, in Piemonte, they like to take meat and braise the hell out of it in red wine for a long time, and that's a wonderful combination for, uh, for Nebbiolo. But uh, if, you don't want, if you don't eat meat or just don't want to have meat that particular time you're having the wine, cheese is another wonderful uh, combination with a tannic wine, uh, whether it's a hunk of Parmigiano-Reggiano or any, uh, any of the more aged cheeses. So get yourself some Piemontese wines and, and, uh, and have, some, have some great meals.